Hello Virgo, welcome, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and today we are going to have a beautiful weekly reading for upcoming week which is August 15th through to 21st. Virgo, how are you? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is general reading so take the messages that resonate with you and drop the rest oh death card is jumping out transformation interesting what's coming in you have you checked out your sun moon and rising sign as this might give you actually more information about yourself and as well for upcoming things that are surrounding you right virgo very chatty cards today i'm ever so grateful for you being here and if you're new to this channel please don't be shy subscribe and like and comment but if you've been subscribed welcome back right virgo what's coming in for you this week page of swords ace of cups queen of cups two of wands oh interesting okay at the bottom i'm going to take the card that resonates most with you your energy and or message from universe the strength oh leo we are in leo season however right virgo Whew. where do we start okay well i feel eh, that you are kind of on top of the world you feeling this i think the aftermath after the full moon or the summer or whatever life going great and you kind of feeling that you can manage whatever's coming you're keeping cool beans you're doing good look how courageous this lady is she's touching linus's head ever so gently and she's not she's using the power but she's not abusing the power and that is this kind of message as well through this card that is saying that your inner strength your power in the world should be used mindfully because our mindfulness, our intentions matter, right? And with the strengths card, it is definitely saying everything is possible. Whatever you want to do it, as long as your intentions are clean and clear and conscious and your integrity, go for it. You can achieve that. There is nothing and no one that can stop you from succeeding. However, however big or small, whatever you want to do. It is kind of like, it's given the power, it's kind of like the higher energy is actually currently for a lot of science, it's, it's collectively, there's a lot of higher energy, vibration energies are injecting a lot of strengths, a lot of positivity to deal with life, to deal with situations and dealing with yourself. And it's kind of like, you're like, come on, I'm ready, bring it on, bring it on, right? And you are ready for whatever is coming and you know how to be powerful in a positive way so you can benefit and anyone else can benefit as well right so we have page of swords so there is kind of i kind of look for the page of swords is looking to the strengths and it's kind of like that you are kind of trying to come up with not the new idea it is something that's been brewing maybe in your minds and you want you're looking for that strength for that idea to come out to put out there and it's something that you strongly believe either it is that you want to start something or finish something even there is something on your mind that you kind of want to put it out there and sometimes maybe you don't know how to put it. i need this card here we go oh high priestess regardless with the intuition or not high priestess is always urging speak your mind there is of course more than one way how to tell what you want to tell you don't need to be aggressive you don't need to be uh, bold or uh, uh, anything like that but speak your mind it is kind of that's why the strength i think is coming in it kind of gives you the courage to stand up for what you believe to stand up for your ideas it could be at work maybe you're trying to protect your um your idea and you don't know whether some it's going to be laughed at or it's going to be uh, supported hold yourself together 
with the integrity, with the self-respect. When you respect yourself, everyone can sense that, right? And you stand your ground and try to put that idea to the table and see what happens. But with really with strong self-respect, I respect myself. And the, and the way you said it, can I ask you something, Virgo? Do you speak to everyone the same? Probably not. So, when we speak to several different people, we can sense with one person we can speak like this, but with the other person we can't. And there's a reason. Because everyone around, they have their boundaries. Everyone has their kind of energetic field. And if you put yourself around, I, I respect myself. I have my boundaries. And I have this idea. And put it in such a professional manner. In a manner that it feels like that no one's going to be able to object. Are you with me? So if this is the case, get the inner courage. Get the inner strength. Ask for help maybe for angels. If you're if you're not maybe good in communication and with a lot of people in the room or whatever, try to try to you know, do a home in front of the mirror. Try to talk and really be convincing and really speak up your minds in such a manner that I think that will go down well. And we have Ace of Cups. There is definitely some sort of new interesting kind of emotional personal i would even say achievements and i kind of sense that overcoming that hurdle of communicating clearly and i think this communication clearly is coming for a lot of signs it is really collective actually lately and look how queen of cups is looking and supporting the ace of cups and supporting the page of swords and pride priestess to communicate clean and clearly as uh, Ace of Cups is a pure purity, emotional purity, your intentions, your integrity. And this is a good, good omen for you to overcome these obstacles. And Queen of Cups, which is energy of emotional maturity, getting your energies together, getting that help if you need together, practice your speech or practice your this is all about, it's here, I feel that there's something you want to tell and you're kind of gathering that strength. This is something that needs to come off your chest so badly and it needs to come out, right? Queen of Cups is this as well, it could be a friend of yours or person that is really kind of supporting you or very supportive in even a grand background you might not be even aware of. They might be supporting your idea as well. And they may be waiting for you to come out and shine. And they're just waiting for you to wake up and get and deliver that. And we have two of ones. It is kind of, I could actually draw a line here. It kind of feels that there is some sort of, I'm going to take another card. Mm. Okay. Something is... Something is, I wouldn't say bothering you, something is on your mind that you might not be able to see. But your kind of hard work is hasn't paid off yet. And you are waiting for that payday. You are waiting for the acknowledgement and recognition in a ways. That you are already kind of looking, well, shall I just drop in and do something else? Don't quit five minutes before. You are nearly there. And you, even though you're looking like that, you are looking at this person in the bandage, right? And he's kind of steadying himself, right? And he has feels like, not that he has had enough, but he kind of feels that <sighs> I'm nearly there. Shall I finish it or shall I just drop it? Don't drop things five minutes because there's something you cannot see yet. It not may be time for you to know. It might not be time for you to be revealed. As the moon is definitely talking about kind of things behind the scenes. And I kind of feel this is going to be good. Could, there could be something that maybe there is a talks going on. Look, this Virgo character is really showing him herself in a different side, no, different sides, right? And maybe someone is planning to, for a promotion for you. Or there's someone else is going on. But there's something that you cannot see yet. So, hold horses. Don't be a quitter. Hold yourself together. Keep the great, strong 
energy of courage courageousness and positivity okay and let's see what's happening further right it might not be there yet so because you can't see the road to the end doesn't mean that you have to drop it right okay <laughs> a fiery climax approaches definitely there's some fireworks either this is your own inner fireworks or this pub approaches there is something coming that you cannot see yet and might not be able for me to able to be seeing yet but it's coming right meanwhile you practice your speech meanwhile you practice your um confidence growing it show the world real you really we just had full moon in Aquarius show the world the real you and I think this is something that is probably still uh influencing and it is kind of giving you that boost of energy real strong boost of show the world real you show speak up your minds tell what you want and learn how to speak learn how to express yourself you are good enough Virgo full moon in Virgo this is you my friends you are good enough keep that in mind and when you are in doubt repeat that as a mantra literally you are good enough indeed okay i'll take one more card two cards you are very close to achieving your goal and nothing will come of this situation i think this is something to do with if you're forcing it to no, to speed it up or cutting it off so hold the horses because you're very close there is something very close to something that you are going to be achieving but it's not for you to reveal it's not for you to know it's not for me to reveal it yet okay let's keep the life a little bit mis mystery so it's more interesting right virgo let's have a look what angel messages would like to add if this resonates with you do you know what to do what do you do thumbs up <laughs> of course here we go reconsider definitely reconsider the quitting bit the stopping or go back to your strengths don't quit don't be a quitter here we go choose a new direction choose to be clear and clear get that it's kind of like putting your new clothes on like putting new persona on and kind of gathering the strengths and speaking your mind being that new you and showing the world who you really made of if you believe your belief system is going to probably be tested probably right just hold your beliefs hold your positive energies your vibrations as much as high as possible as long as possible and let's see what happens <laughs> all right very good thank you so much for being here look after yourself have a great week and i'll see you in the next reading Ta -da.